that's the game instance at work. However, you should still think about what data you want to put into the game instance because the game instance might not be the right choice for all of the different things. Player state might be a better option for you. We'll get into player state or into the next video because that's where it really shines is in multiplayer. Uh, but the player state is for stuff that you need not attached to the player, but you want to be persist if the player dies. Okay, so a really good example, maybe not the death portion of it, but a really good example is Super Mario 64. I'm sure a majority of you watching have played Mario 64 at some point. So you go into a level, right? Every single world in Mario 64 has red coins or, or coins in general, right? So it's keeping track. Have you collected all the eight coins, blah, 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 blah. So you would store the coin data in your game state because it's only for that level. When you move outside of that world, you don't need to know about the red coins in world one because it's only for world one. Stars, on the other hand, are going to be persistent across your entire game, so you're going to want to store what stars you've collected in Mario 64 in your game instance, okay? So that's a really good example of when to use which, 